Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. <laughs> Not bad. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Oh, use a mouse looking around. Okay. Greenhouse, hunting area, train station. Was that was that where we were? The train station? River, road, forest. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car. Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. Wanted this place to be hard to find. That's actually pretty smart. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if... If I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah, well multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Shit. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. 
fish or hunt? Uh, does Clementine have any experience of fishing? She, I, I, I'm guessing she could do pretty well at hunting. Also, I forget who Brody is. Oh, is Brody the other girl? That, uh, Marlon was with and when we were conversing, socializing? Uh, hunt with Lewis and a sim. Fish with Violet and Brody. Hmm. Let's go fishing. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. I actually think this group could be good. But, as I said, there's always something. There's always something. Damn, look at that water. You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, bye. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. And we'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Beach, Buzz coastline, kill. heart of a city. No, beach sounds cool. I'd drive down to the coastline. Maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over turn it into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah. I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Brody, or, yeah, Brody's so, like, upbeat. And then Violet's all, like, negative Nancy over here. <laughs> Jesus. Where are those spears? Hey. About by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. It wasn't your fault. These things happen. Still, I was the one that had to break the news to her. And ever since I did, she's become distant. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? 
See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Look, I, I don't think I should get involved. It sounds like you two should just talk it out yourselves. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, it was stupid of me to ask. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, Aww. What the hell is taking you two so long? See? I feel I'll bad. I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Maybe I should have helped her, but I don't, I don't want to get involved. Like, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to. <laughs> bad things can happen. Huh, this is cool. Bad things can happen if I get involved with two people's problems. Edgy. That is edgy. Kind of creepy, but AJ might like it. AJ's into cat skulls. All right, guys. I'm I'm an hour and forty minutes in. I'm gonna stop here because I don't want my recording to mess up. But I hope you guys are enjoying the Walking Dead. It's so good, man. I'm just like I'm. I'm sorry if I'm not doing a lot of commentary, but the story is just it's doing all it's doing all the work for me. <laughs> like <laughs> it's so interesting and I don't know. This is it's so fun and so good to just be engrossed in the story again. Like I feel like. The last two seasons, oh, I mean, la last season was really good, but the second season kind of, it was okay. It wasn't that good. It wasn't, it wasn't as good as the first season, obviously. And to be as good as the first season, you need a lot of, you need a lot of work. But this, this season is actually looking really good. I like, I like all the changes they're doing. I love how the game looks. I love the, the new combat style, even though it's kind of simple, you know, just press E and Q, but, oh, I'm just so I'm so enamored. It's just so good. Anyways, I'll stop. I'll stop gushing over <laughs> The Walking Dead. <laughs> it's only episode one. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying episode one. We'll continue after this. I don't know how much we have left, but it's pretty good so far. So I'll see you guys then.